What's up guys? Which one of these do you prefer? A website, a blog, or a landing page? Let me know in the comments. Today, we're going to discuss the differences between those. We're going to look at some real world examples. We're even going to go and create a brand new landing page right live right here in front of you. But what you're looking at right now is my website, everydayfba.com. It serves as a home page and a landing page for everything that I do. It connects to every single other thing that I'm involved in. We're going to look at all of this and more in this video to help you decide which one of these do you need for your business. All right, guys, let's dive into it. Like I said, this is my website right here, freshly created and redone right here. Nice and simple and beautiful looking. It tells a little bit of story about me, who I am, what I do and why I do it. And it's really just serves as a home page to link to everything else that I'm involved in and as a lead capture page by clicking here, you're gonna to want to go ahead and submit your email, right? So this is what I use for the base of my business for creating content on YouTube, for doing things on Amazon, everything is done right here through my website, everydayfba.com. But you may have a different kind of format, you may be using a blog or a traditional website or a funnel or a landing page, there's lots of different ways to go ahead and uh, utilize and incorporate digital assets into your business. But what I wanna show you is a couple of examples from YouTube. These are just YouTubers who have an established channel who may not be setting themselves up in the right way to, you know, build that digital asset and make the most out of their website, blog, or landing page. So let's go ahead and look at a couple of examples right now. All right, so here's a first example that I'm going to show you. This is Home Improvement Woodworking, a great channel, 22,000 subs, lots of subs. This guy is really putting in a lot of work into his content. He's doing everything right and if we go and look at his videos you can see that he does link to an existing website right let me hold on let me just pause this real quick if you look down here he does link to his own website homeimprovementwoodworking.com and if we go to this website this is what we're going to find this is a very simple very basic kind of blog style website and it's not doing much to serve as a landing page or to inspire uh, more engagement to more interaction with the site. It's not really collecting email addresses. It's not really doing much in terms of, of anything, of adding value to your existing content channel. You know, you, so you have this wonderful channel, you got tons of subs, but your homepage is not really doing anything for you. You've got some blog posts here. You got some uh, projects you can look at, videos you can look at, tools on how to blog and contact, right? So this is kind of just like a blog and a base website. And the whole point of something like this, I guess, would be to do content marketing. But what I want to say to anyone that's watching this video, especially if you're already creating content on YouTube, is you don't really need a blog because you're already creating content here on YouTube. YouTube is your content marketing strategy, so you should have something to follow up on it on your uh, website. This is an example of someone that is really not taking full advantage of his audience on YouTube and his uh, digital assets. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at just another example of this. Here's another successful YouTuber doing some great things, some great videos. Paul Tran DIY has got 14,000 subs. And again, if you look into his descriptions of his videos, he's going to link you to a website. Let me pause this. So of course he has the Amazon affiliate links, which is great. You know, people like to try to monetize with Amazon associates. That's not my preferred way to monetize, but he is. And he also links to his own um, website, which we go check a look at that. Again, what you're going to find is blog type website. You're going to look at someone who's looking to um, do content marketing with their blog in order to generate AdSense revenue. And you can see it here. I mean, it's a, it's more beautiful and more better laid out than the last one, but it's still the same, um, the same concept, right? It's blogs, it's articles, it's content marketing, and it's it's really not doing anything to build your business up, okay? And 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 more than that, some of these guys will have actual items for sale on their blogs or on their websites. And I'm almost positive that they aren't making any sales because of the way they're going about it just isn't right.
Okay, so those are just two examples of a blog or a website that may not be doing anything for your existing business or your existing YouTube channel that's not really inspiring or motivating anybody else to interact with you and you're not really making things very clear. If you go to either one of these websites, what you're going to notice is, is that there's a lot of things that you could possibly do. There's, you can click on these pictures, you can click on all these links down here, you can check out more things, you can contact them. You can subscribe to their email list, but really what you're doing to your audience audience or your visitors, the traffic that you're setting to this website or blog, what you're doing them is just overwhelming them with information. You're giving them homework to do. A person comes and sees something like this and then they just click off and leave. And that is the, that's definitely not what you want. If you're doing any kind of marketing, trying to get your business up, build your business up to get your YouTube channel up, you need to be doing one simple thing and that's getting and creating a landing page so that you can create uh, email lists. So you see the examples of websites or blogs and how they can really not, they're not really doing much for your business. You should be creating landing pages. Now the difference between a website and a blog and a landing page is a landing page only serves one single purpose. It only gives your viewer, your traffic, one simple thing to look at, to read, to view, to do. That is the difference between a landing page and a website. Okay. Let's look at some successful landing pages. All right, so we'll start with just one of my landing pages. This is one that I use with my Amazon FBA business and my YouTube business. It's really simple. There's only one thing to do here to put in your name and your email address and get access to these free guides, which will help you throughout your Amazon FBA journey. And you don't need to know anything about Amazon FBA or anything that I'm involved with, but just know this is the essence of a landing page. It exists to do one single thing, all right? You do not give your viewer your traffic the person that clicks on your website homework you do not overload them with a bunch of things to do they simply need to come to this page read what you offer put in their email address and get access to those guides if they don't want to do that they'll simply kick, click off that's the only purpose of a landing page so let's go ahead and look at someone who is doing this a business and a youtuber that i found that is actually utilizing this to the best of their ability this is the warrior tribe from Mask Tactical, and this is a landing page. This is the start of probably a funnel, but what they're doing is really just giving you the most basic things to do. You're gonna read this headline. You're gonna see it's a limits time offer. You may watch this video, and then if you wanna learn more, if you wanna see more, you're gonna to have to put in your email address and get started for free. Now, the whole point of collecting email addresses right up front is because it's very, very easy for your traffic, for your visitor to get distracted. Oftentimes, they're on mobile, right they're not really interacting with you 100 they're halfway looking at their phone they're halfway driving or they're halfway eating or they're halfway talking to someone they're halfway listen, listening to music or watching tv everyone's doing multiple things at multiple times so the first thing that you always want to do is capture that email address so you can then follow up with them right because not everyone is going to you know buy your product or you know check out your store or subscribe to your YouTube channel or do any of those kinds of things because there are just so much other things that they are doing at that same time. So it's really important to have a landing page and to immediately try to capture that email address so you can follow up with them in the future. Um, so this is an example of someone that's doing it 100% correct and we're actually going to go through I think and recreate this whole entire um, landing page right here in front of you. I'm going to do it from scratch, right? But again, this is what it's, it's so very basic. It doesn't have to be so much involved like this. It can be very basic. This uh, actual page currently is converting for me at about 48.96%, only almost 50% of people who go to this page, drop in their email address for me get access to those guides. Then I'm able to follow up with them uh, through an email sequence and you know that way, right? So it's very important getting a landing page off the ground and running, you definitely should. And the landing page software that I use, the website creator that I use to do all this is ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels makes it super easy to create landing pages, websites, uh, sales letters, uh, product launches, membership areas. Did I say that already? 
So this is my ClickFunnels account. And you can see that I've had 305 opt-ins in the past week today. Right now, it's almost 12 p.m., 71 page views and five opt-ins across all of my websites that I have created. And I have quite a few pages built out here through ClickFunnels, uh, which I'll check out right now. And like I said, we're going to go through and we're going to recreate this exact web page it might not be exact but i'm gonna show you how easy it can actually be to set up something like this quick and easy so again i have all these pages built in and we're going to use this one here i created this one the other day for another youtuber uh, a youtuber that did not have something set up so i went ahead and just made this real quick for them as an example of what you can do as well so we're going to take this and we're going to completely just delete everything and we're going to start from zero all right here guys let me move myself around a little bit make sure i'm out of the way so we're just going to delete every single thing from here so that you guys can see what it's like to start from zero with click funnels and see how easy it is to actually build a page out here uh let me move myself again I'm trying to get myself out of the way so i can click all these buttons all right so the first thing we're going to want to do right we want to make it look like this maybe we need the background so we need some kind of tree background let me click off that off that we need some kind of tree background so I'm just gonna go to Google and I'm gonna put um, forest background see what we can come up with we'll just grab something really fast don't no reason to overthink this um, yeah that'll be good save image so I'll save this real quick we'll go through click funnels and upload it so right here settings we're going to go to background and we're going to put a background image up here we got to upload this image that we just downloaded all right we're uploaded now we're just going to double click on it and boom there you go instant background all right we're already on our way to kind of recreating this page very simple very easy we'll start putting in these little little captions and headlines and then the video right here real quick so what we're going to do now is add a section we're going to go full length because i believe that uh, that first line right here yeah full length and then we'll add a new row it's a single row because it only has one single headline right and then we're gonna add in a uh, headline here there you are and then we can put what we want limited time offer we're just gonna do this real quick guys I'm not gonna spend a lot of time making it perfect but you can see how you can start to make this happen and make this into something that looks amazing all right so we kind of got that first part there what we're going to do now is go ahead and add another section because it has the top right and has this top and then it has this bottom so again we'll add a new row just one column and we'll copy this just to make it easy on myself put in another headline here Paste that in. This one I believe was darker. All right. And I'm just going to put it in white just to make it a little bit easier to read for the purpose of this example. All right. So there you go. Kind of close. Not really exact, but. I'm doing this for example purposes please remember that so it goes into kind of like a half width here so we'll go we'll go medium on this next one we'll add another row again it's just one column because it's just one line element just don't want to do a sub headline so it's smaller paste that in and again we'll make the text white and the background of this row we want black and then we'll round off that's too round there you go so again look see it's starting to look just like it it's not exact like I said but you can see how easy it is to go through here and do all this let's go ahead and add uh, another element here you know let's go ahead and add another section but we'll do the medium section again and this is where we're going to place our video 
Again, we just need one column, add new element, video. And you know what, I'm gonna go act, I'm gonna grab this exact video, show you guys that I can put it on here. Click on this, I'm gonna go to YouTube, YouTube URL, paste that in, boom, done. What's next? The email address and the button. Right below here, we can use the same, the same uh, section, same row. Uh, we're gonna put in a form input right below that. We'll put a button to submit. And then what else do they have? They have a couple of images here, which is that's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll just create a new section. This section will go, is it full width? Yeah, full width. Only this time, the row, we're going to do a three row because you see it has three pictures right here. So we'll add those images in. Boom. 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 Easy, guys. Super easy. So we essentially went ahead and just created this whole thing uh, again from scratch. And it was not difficult at all. Right here, you can have the logo. Logo image there. Background to this. Make it transparent. Boom. There you go. Save this. We'll just show me show you what it looks like, guys. Let me show you how how we're able to take this web page right here and really kind of recreate it really fast. I don't know how long it took. Less than five minutes for sure. And it's not exact, but you can see that it's very, very close. If we had more time, if I had more time, I would most definitely go through here and make it even better. But you can see limit time offer, same headline, same thing, same video, submit your email, click the sign up, three pictures on the video, then a logo, and then they put the uh, this other stuff down here, which we can easily recreate as well. But this is it. So simple, so easy to create a landing page for your business, for your YouTube channel. There's no reason not to do it. You need to elevate your game and do it with the power of ClickFunnels because it's so super easy. You guys just saw me make this page right here in front of you in less than five minutes. It's that easy, that easy. Why create really work intensive blogs and work intensive websites that aren't really serving your purpose. They're not really serving your business or doing anything for you. A squeeze page, a landing page, a home page like this that exists only to capture an email address. It exists only to show people, hey, this is who I am. This is what I do. This is what I can offer you. Do you want to learn more? Do you want to work with me? Do you want to download this free guide? Do you want to find out how you can navigate a river of bullshit and get paid to do it? Watch this video, put in your email address, sign up below and move on to the next page, which is where we start to really get in to what you want to know. That's the whole purpose of a landing page. And it's why it's 1000 times better than a website. That's it. I mean, this, that's the presentation there, guys. Awesome. Awesome. Right. I hope that you learned something from this. And if you are looking to get something like ClickFunnels, I definitely hope that you do because it has really changed the whole entire scope of my business. I've been using ClickFunnels for a over a year now, and I couldn't imagine doing anything else. Uh, besides using ClickFunnels for my business. Uh, so there is a link, guys, right there in the description. There's a link for a 14-day trial to go ahead and test drive uh, ClickFunnels for yourself. If you need any help, if you go and use that link and get ClickFunnels and you need help creating your very first landing page, if you need help taking your existing website and blog and converting it over and thinking about the ideas that you need to have in order to set up a landing page and actually collect, start collecting an email list and grow your audience that way, shoot me an email. I'd be happy to help you guys out. Hi at everydayfba.com if you use that link in the description to get your 14 day trial to click funnels. I hope that this informed you of why you need a landing page and why a landing page is better than a traditional website or a blog and why you should be using them for your business and your YouTube channel. My name is Josh. EverydayFBA.com is my website. I'll catch you guys on that next video.